Right now, you're only floating a few feet above the ground, just over 800 feet above sea level. But you're about to go much higher, on a journey to the edge of space. As far as the Seeker team knows, this is the first time something like this has ever been done before in VR. Thanks to the weather balloon above you, you'll soon reach speeds of over 65 miles an hour as you travel out of the troposphere and into the stratosphere. And you may notice this line going around. Well, that's because you're spinning fast too, but we stabilized the footage the best we could to make your ride a calm one. Now get ready, don't forget to look around, and enjoy your journey to the edge of space. The trip has just begun, but you've already flown past the tallest building in the world, the Burj Khalifa in Dubai. But the Jeddah Tower in Saudi Arabia, which is already under construction, is set to overtake it, reaching just over 3,200 feet. ever skydived before, this is about the altitude at which you probably would have jumped out of the airplane. Now might be a good time to look down. If you listen closely, you can hear the precipitation inside this cloud. And if you look up, you can see it falling down around you. At this altitude, the temperature is so cold that what you're actually seeing is sleet and snow. We're coming up to the height of Mount Everest, the tallest mountain in the world. Its peak is about 2,700 feet above what mountaineers call the dead zone, where oxygen is too scarce to breathe. And just a short distance above Everest peak is the cruising altitude of commercial flights. Look around to see an angle of the world you wouldn't normally see sitting in an airplane. It may not feel like it, but you're traveling at over 65 miles an hour, ascending at more than 1,000 feet per minute. This might be because we hit the jet stream, a current of fast moving air cutting through our atmosphere. Right now, the air pressure is about 90% lower than it is back on the ground, close to the atmospheric pressure in space. Under these conditions, your body would not be able to survive without a spacesuit. This is about the altitude where our cameras died. However, the balloon didn't. It kept traveling to a height of over 114,000 feet, where, because of the drop in air pressure, the helium inside expanded so much that the balloon burst. The cameras and equipment fell back down to Earth where our Seeker team tracked and found it, everything still intact, and just a few miles from where we launched. We had a plan to go to the stratosphere, to bring seekers like you to a place that you wouldn't otherwise be able to go, to experience the world from a new angle, to take you to the edges of the earth.